Dancers and you're watching Toasted right now. Esme Dancers in the kitchen in Amsterdam. What are you doing here? Uh, I just did a performance for Bowl.com, which, um, you know, was really great. I was surprised to find that you have a great band now. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I just started rehearsing um, with my band. I have two dancers, which I didn't bring this time, but um, yeah, we were rehearsing for the tour that's coming up. You're in Holland now. Uh, everybody knows you're from Holland. Uh, do you get to visit the country a lot, or are you just traveling the globe all the time? Um, you know, I'm traveling a lot for performing and recording my record, but um, you know, right now I'm in Holland, so uh, tomorrow I'll have a day off and I'll uh, just go and reunite with my family and my friends and it'll be fun. Of course you heard about the news that Michael Jackson passed away. Was he also an influence for you? Of course, he was a massive influence for Justin. Yeah, he was definitely a big influence for me as well. You know, he is the biggest pop artist that ever existed for me. He is such a talent, and um, you know, it was really a shock to me that you know he had passed away. And I think that all around the world, people are you know grieving for him. But you know, I'm so happy that we that he gave us his gift, and that we you know his music lives on forever. So. Your album is out in the hall. You get a lot of airplay too. Uh, you must be really proud of what you did, right? Definitely. I'm really happy I took the time to really make an album. And, you know, it took a little bit of time, but I guess that I'm, I'm really proud of what it sounds like right now. And, uh, you know, I was really scared at first because I didn't know what people were going to say, but um, they've really um, embraced it. And it's, it's, it's just great that they love it so much. stuff that I like about your website, by the way, and then there's a lot of extra stuff on the website if you get the album, is that you get a sneak peek into what you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I especially love the parts in the studio, that must be like amazing to work with all those people and scary as well, I guess, right? Yeah, definitely, it was a lot of fun, you know, Justin hooked me up with a lot of great songwriters and, and producers, so it was great to be able to develop my writing skills with these people. Hey, they taught you a l amazing lot, right? I mean, you get to learn to dance, you get to learn how to speak English, because your English is flawless. I mean, how did that work? Did, did Justin just grab you off a plane and say, well, you know, I have this course for you, and yeah, I want you to learn this, 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 and that? No, not really. I've actually, um, I was always interested in English language, and at school I was always, you know, I really liked um, to know what lyrics meant of songs. Like my favorite artists, I always want to know what they were singing about because I always wanted to write songs myself as well. And then, you know, I think in Holland everything has subtitles, so you kind of learn by watching. And then, you know, when you spend three, three years time, you know, it wasn't all three years, but when you spend that much time in America, it's, you just kind of learn by going. Like every time somebody says something, it's like, oh, I don't know that word yet. And then the next time you'll know what it is. is a mirror, is it hot? Do you realize that it's really, really hard working, your profession? It's Before definitely a lot of work. Um, you know, a lot of the times when you look at the TV, you see a video and you think, oh, they recorded that in an hour. So when I record my own video, it, it took 18 hours, which, you know, is crazy. Um, but, you know, it was a lot of fun. But you, you definitely, in the beginning, you're kind of like... You don't realize how much work goes into it and how much people work for an artist. I have so many people really working really hard um, that are behind the scenes that nobody gets to see. So that's definitely something I learned. Could you give any advice to people who want to do the same that you did? To think they can sing or want to sing or mm -hmm. is it still possible to put out a video on YouTube and get like 137 million people watching it? I think nothing's impossible but I think if you really want something the most important thing is um, just don't be scared 
like when I put up my video I didn't know that there were so many people going to be watching it and so many people going to be saying stuff about you and you just don't have to be scared about what other people think because if you're really going to listen to what everybody has to say then you know I just think that it's going to get you down because not everybody can like you and some people are not going to like you some people are going to love you so just do what you love and, and show show the people your talent and you know they might like it they they don't but at least you tried you know When will you be back? Um, well, I'm going to be at the Heineken Music Hall performing um, the pre-show for, for Neo, so I'll be, I'll be back soon. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.